start recording and start saying hello everyone welcome back to let's play the three deadly shadows <clears throat> in which Garrett has pissed off both the Hammerites and the Pagans and uh, we'll see what happens next thank you all very much for joining I really appreciate it and let's see where the game takes us shall we Garrett's building. Hmm. No, HJ. Don't be silly. This is serious time now. Super serious time, okay? That's disappointing. Hmm. <sighs> All right, objective, deliver the chalice and paw to Artemis in Terrace's courtyard in Storm Market Plaza. That's kind of it. That's it, really. Just keep moving, Taffer. <laughs> You'd think he'd realize, wouldn't you? You'd think every time that guy walks past me in the corridor, three seconds later, I'm unconscious. You call me a taffer. What's what's quick save again? F10? F10. You call me a taffer, right? And this guy is snoring far too loudly and I cannot sleep. That's why I woke up in the middle of the night. I thought one well, might as well deliver the paw now. Worthless. Absolutely worthless, apparently. Everything is worthless. He said tougher. Oh, well. Hi, Sprocket. <clears throat> Hello, Max Dad. Welcome in. You're just catching the start. Sneaking sneak. I don't want to sneak out from in here because we killed them. <laughs> They're dead! Someone keeps lighting this candle though. It's like in vigil, and we just keep putting it out, which is even worse. Wow. Garrett, what a what a git. Git. Git Garrett. Early start today. Yes, yes, yes. Well. Um. Um, not really sure why. Just uh wanna get some things done this evening, so thought I would. Uh, early, um, so I can start them early, I guess. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well and having a good weekend. Yeah, Shadow Hog, that's probably it. So if we grab our free water arrows. Wait, there's no, there's no water in there, but we still get the arrows for it. And grab our, oh, yeah, gas arrow up there. It's all very quiet, isn't it? If someone moved that box, we wouldn't be able to get that anymore. We'd be all sad. <clears throat> Taffa always reminds me of Long Taffy Tree and uh, Toff Biffy. I don't know what those are, actually. Some sort of... Oh, no. All right, fine. Didn't lose any health. Just our pride that's injured. It's all right. In the fourth game, we don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> hey. Someone keeps putting this grate back up as well. Climbing gloves, yeah. I know, I like the rope arrows. I like the flexibility and um, and they gave you and the way you had to manage them. And if you had two of them, you had to like think, right, well, I'm going to have to try and get this one back. 
and that kind of stuff. I enjoyed it. So of course they took it away from me. <laughs> Clot gauntlets, yeah, because Garrett's Wolverine. <laughs> Maybe sometime, someday, there'll actually be something up here, but there isn't. So we need to go to Storm Market. We want to come down here and, and do the usual kind of stuff and things because it's fun. <clears throat> yeah, well, I wouldn't even. Yeah, I enjoyed them. I get some rumors and stuff if we hear people chatting. Hello there, Mr. Guard, sir. We're coming this way. That's kind of unfortunate. I don't like the streets. What have you got? Says she doesn't want any part of my money. Blood money, she calls it. What does she know? All money is blood money, babe. Sooner you learn that, the better off you'll be. All right, so the guards are back. We'll just check around here for no apparent reason. Something's got those prayers all stirred up. Oh yeah, dagger yeah, yeah. Climbing dagger fall was awesome. <clears throat> Rob this dude again. We got in the barrel. Hi, <laughs> right, some dog. More thiefinator. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that's what it is. So these arrows always been here. Kind of disappoints me that I didn't see them. Mind you, there was a guard last time. So I probably wouldn't have bothered. Um, he's no doubt being fired. Because <laughs> I managed to sneak upstairs and bludgeon this guy to unconsciousness. And guess what? I'm going to do it again. <clears throat> Hello, Cell. How goes today? You all good? Help, Cell. So. Seems very uh, jolly. Uh, Valk BG, good to see you. How are you? Hope you're having a good weekend. Well, someone merrily whistling to themselves. I'm afraid that we cannot have that, right? There'll be no merrily whistling on this stream. This is super secret time. Thank you very much. So absolutely no new loot at all, which is a shame. <coughs> There's no way Elder Scrolls, so you made Elder 5? No. No. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so. No. We do not add features to Elder Scrolls games. <laughs> it's not how it works. Right, so this guard's a bit annoying out here. I can't be wrong this time. Move all the features to make it easy for new players to get into. I guess it was the wind I heard. Yeah, the wind went boom. This guy's uh bit chilly. We'll get him now. Now. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's going. Nice. Happy with that. If one of the all went that way. Mm 
<clears throat> hey, Alex. I'll be doing good. You know what they say, perfection is achieved when there's nothing left to remove. Is that what they say? I've never heard that. Can I check these in case there's be a random pot of gold at the end of the alley for no reason? Oh god. I think we've got away with it. More guards on the street. <laughs> I know, right? The perfect game will play itself. You could do that with Dragon Age, couldn't you? Show yourself. I seen you once already. Wasn't there like Progress Quest? Progress Quest uh, plays itself, doesn't it? <laughs> make the game so dumb even a baby could play it and make the dialogue repeat the important story bits of the play does not need to think at all. That's fun game design. You guys have not been very nice to one game design, you know? Let's go for the other day. There he is. There he is. Is there a chance here? Can't, oh. Yes, there is. Nope. 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 Oh my god, there's another one there. What the hell? Oh, we're like we're like so on the edge here, right? I think like another second, and both those times we would have been seen, but the guard's like. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna call it skill, even though it's more like luck. Awful lot of guards around. Nope. What's all this rumpus? 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 Yes, we can compare it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, go away. Anything could have made it. Yep, you just turn around there, mate. You just turn around. Good. Rumpus. So can we compare and contrast when you do Thief 2014? Absolutely. Yes. That is absolutely what we're going to be doing. I mean, we've done it with this in the um, first two games. This new species of creature has entered your dungeon. They are Granny's only fans. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. You are now one of the people. Um. <clears throat> AAA modern game design. We're not for the. Ah! Okay, I was watching chat. I was watching chat. That was your fault, chat. This is your fault. It's your fault, chat. That was all me. All my plan. Alright, getting rid of this guy is going to be a problem. Yep, there's someone there. Oh, can we just dump him, like, like here? Throw him down. Throw him. Get, get rid of him. <laughs> <clears throat> Heaven, Helen, you recently finished it. Um, all right, tell me, uh, what you think. I mean, because I think, I think that, oh, man. Right now, now we're a bit of a problem. Hang on, we actually soft locked here. Okay, now good. I thought we're down a hole. We can't climb out a ladder because we're carrying a body, and we can't drop the body because we're down a hole. Um. Um. Um Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say now. <laughs> anyway, this is going well. It's going much better than the last time we were on the street tour. It was like two sessions ago that we had like the worst start ever. Yeah, the pagan level. I think I didn't know if yeah, so it was two sessions ago. Things went horribly wrong on the streets and I got a bit annoyed, but things are getting better now. Always ladders, yeah. <laughs> so I don't think there's any more guards around. Should we check? Following incidents occurred last evening in the Pinsley of South Quarters. This is before the hammerers. So two citizens were rendered conscious by a blow to the head. Eight items of valuable property were reported stolen. Five locks were unpicked open. 
Okay, not as bad as the night before. Things are getting better, apparently. Or maybe it's just less to steal. This guy still puts his loose change up there. It's nice of him. Had fun. I know it's not really Thief Thief, but I liked it. I don't know. I really like the locations of building the city and stuff. Yeah, I think. There's another guard there. Bloody hell. Are they spawning? Oh. Um. I think what I'm going to have to do is approach it the same way as Deus Ex 2, which um, is a half decent game on its own. with the uh, the burden of being called Deus Ex 2, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Well, there should be something in there, you know. Maybe there will be eventually. Hello, Snod. It's awesome to see you. How are you? I know, Cell. Yeah, well, I think... Um, they're all gone, aren't they? Pardon me. All the other thieves. I gotta say, I'm still hurting all over from that roughing up I got. Nice. Got that money. No, I think I'm thinking about the end of Thief 2. <laughs> Are we looking for anything special? So we've got 17. Or? Water arrows. Take some more yeah, you see, around. so we're getting here at the well equipped thief, we pride ourselves on stocking everything a person like yourself might need. We yeah, so... hope you find everything you need. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. Indeed, Grimeth. Hello, it is good to see you. So <sighs> I might buy a noisemaker. I mean I don't know if I can afford anything. <laughs> I think we can get a mine. All right, well, something so, in particular you're looking for? Buy one of them. Name's Thomas. If the sir needs anything, buy a mine as well. Maybe we should check I'm what Thomas, we're doing. The proprietor here. But we're uh, here to nah. help if you need anything. We've got to spend Thanks it on something, right? With us. We hope to see you again soon. Glad. We've got to spend our money on something. Hope you're doing well, Grimmer. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> Wonder what Garrett needs the money for. Uh, he needs money to <laughs> buy more thieving equipment so he can go on more thief missions because he totally thieves for necessity and not because he's an addict. Absolutely not. It's because he needs the money Good to buy. Day, officer. Yeah, <laughs> not. Since he had him there. <clears throat> All right, Van Helen. Yeah, we'll do. But yeah, we'll, we'll also... It's tricky, because I do want to uh, compare it to the original games and to this one as well. Where's this freaking guard come from, man? We could go around here and see if we can get him bit better. Oh god, I thought that was a guard as well. It's bloody hell. They are spawning. Out no. of the way, loser. Yeah, long time no see. You doing all right? You doing good, cold heart? Where have you been? What have you been doing? Why haven't you been here? Hmm? Find your lack of faith disturbing. Or lack of attendance or something. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Hi, Kalendar. Garrett's score is always to retire with style, so he steals to become richer until it's enough. But with inflation, all there's no end. Yeah, it does seem that way, doesn't it? <laughs> it does seem like there's no end to it. So now he's going to come down here. Animals sure are acting funny tonight. Then back the way, okay? I'm not going to knock him out. I'm just going to leave because we've done this area now. Then we're going to go down there. We'll just. Yeah. Hey. Good. All right. Well, that's all that loot sold. Let's go and sell some more. Where are we plot-wise? We've, um, I wonder if it actually shows. No, it doesn't show us yet. Um, so we've stolen the chalice and the paw um, from um, from the Hammerites and the Pagans. So now we're going to deliver them to Artemis, uh, to Artemis and Teresis' courtyard. So we're on like the fourth mission now. Oh my god. Freaking guards everywhere. Yes. People noticing the rats have been scared, but never enough to put the people on alert. Interesting mechanic. Yeah, it is. This place, this 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 place, this this game had a lot of advances. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't. Good. Ah, the inn. Such memories. You know, with, with the movable light sources and all that kind of stuff as well. Yep, someone's in here. You play this talk on the Xbox? Nice. You can you can judge me then. I mean, I, can, I know I can get in here, but I always unlock that door. So that was unfortunate. I'm pretty sure those guys shouldn't be in there though, they look like thieves. Can't have just vanished. No, where else could he have gone? <clears throat> yep, ticks absolutely. Hi Tiber. Been a long time since you've seen this game being played. Yes, indeed. That is why I can say I am the best D3 streamer on Twitch. <laughs> Nobody else is better at it than me, currently, right now. Send the way if it's a pirate guy during the game, we'll finally attack you. I don't know if that's a good thing, but good to know. Thanks. Oh my god, no. Timer no, timer no, don't, don't poke, right, but. <laughs> Alright, let's take the hit, use the raw or tower, shall we? So we've done that before, we wouldn't have been caught, I was just being stingy. <laughs> it was, it was fairly, uh, bad luck that, but I knew it was there, because I could hear his, um, his footsteps, so that was mostly me. Uh oh, he's gonna see us again. Yep. Now I saw a ha, a wow, okay. If we stand here, can we stop him getting out? If he's even gonna try. You bump me again, and you're going to be sleeping under the docks. Yeah, you're right, he will, he will. I guess. Finish two chicken tortilla wraps, very tasty, but needs more spicy sauce next time. Well, now you know. Right, we'll skip the inn for now. There's probably nothing in there. 
and none of your tavern tricks, eh? Okay, that's a guard. Which way did he? Can I force pongs a beer? No. Yeah, indeed. You should know the rules. You should know the rules. Hello, Mr. Hammerer. I, d I bet he's not happy to see me. So I'm not going to try. Huh? What is that I doth spy? No, he's really not. Aha! Thy tricks shall be punished. Oh dear. Okay, he didn't see me actually. <laughs> Something's happening back there. <laughs> not you. I don't particularly like the uh, the streets. They're a bit too chaotic for me. Mm. Really? Well, isn't that worth it? What is it? All right. Is there anything to buy here? Thanks for coming in. No. Hey, Garrett. Yeah. Hey, did you know? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'll just let you shop. <laughs> okay. So I own Ace. That's still enough. No, it isn't. Well, I might as well. No, we might. No, it's fine. We might find some. Yeah, we're fine. We're like maxed Hi, out. We're like maxed out on most equipment. So now we're going to head round here to there, because I think you can get through here as well. Fairly sure. Yeah, I know Shadow. Okay, I like that as well. It's completely planned. I could make it a blank screen. Not how you wear a sword, sir. Yeah, now this hammer is on the streets. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna make a run for it, I think. It will probably be alright, probably, maybe, hopefully. There's normally a moss hour around here. Not say. Yeah, he saw something. It's nothing. But I gotta check it out, don't I? Oh, there. Go away. No trouble, sir. Could have been I seen. Mm. What's it matter? Thank it's you, Huey. Two more guards up there or something. Yeah, so this is it's tricky. Pretty tricky. Look there. Didst thou see that? Gonna duck into here. There might be some more loot. Okay, we got some more broadheads there, but yeah, we only have 30. So we're not actually getting any more of them. I shall spy it again ere long. I have worked myself up for naught. Tis the trickster's work. Tis a trickster. Tis not the trickster. It would be nice if the city was more interactive with Gareth's behaviour, like constantly rub the in, missions it closes forever, it gets abandoned. Yeah, they could have put more work into it. I do find the city levels a little bit pointless. A little bit a little bit of a novelty that I could do without. But they're definitely a low point of the game. If a bit more work was put into them, I think, you know, like the stuff that you're mentioning, then yeah, they could be pretty good. But as it is, um, they're just a, a way to get a little bit more loot. But for me, it just shows that Garrett's not a very good thief because everyone knows who he is. Right, so I can't, I can't let not that guy out. It's impossible. Grant the blessings. We'll try it, but it is impossible. Yeah, I would not even. Yeah, I agree. Because I do like how you have an like um. There's an economy in the game. Like you don't just get loot, um, which you then spend all of in the next mission. So you have no loot, because then it means that you 
you might as well lose all, or you might as well use all your equipment in one mission, like in Thief One and Two. Whereas in this, there's a little bit of, well, maybe I should leave that. Maybe I shouldn't use this because I might need it, need it later on. <laughs> I shouldn't think so much like that because we. Um, We um, have loads of equipment, but How dost thou be? I doubt he was talking to me. Hmm. What ah! Who's that Who's then? There? Right. Okay. <laughs> so I can shoot an arrow into his fireplace and he's not bothered, but try and mount all that and obviously fail. And he flings his chair away. <laughs> What do you want, anyways? Things that go bump in the night, right? So he's probably going to go back here. What could it be? And where? Did I just hear? Elder, keep thee. <clears throat> Lights are off. Maybe they're broke. Yes, the candle is broken. Yes, that is right. The candle. Ah, what's the point? I've heard worse sounds than that anyway. Like this. <laughs> now that was completely pointless. But. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Why can't you just go out there, right? Why have I got to like leap out there? And there's not a lot of visibility about what I'm dropping into. <laughs> so I'm just going to go, right? I can hear... Oh, okay, wait. Okay, now I'm going to go. By the... What be afoot? There's another one. Ah, 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 ah. What? Be someone over there. I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> it is time to look in those shadows over yonder. Hey! Oh God! I have found the strike thee down. Okay. Hold on. There's just two. What's all what's that? That? What's that? Oh. And there he goes. Just remembered something I have to do. Stop your running, you what coward! Bloody... Found you. Now you're in for it. Hi oh, guys, I'm just gonna go now. I'll um. See you later, bye. Too greedy? Well, maybe, but even if I hadn't been, there was another one coming. And there was... There was two guards around the freaking corner, so there's like... Besides, I wasn't too greedy. We didn't actually pay... We didn't lose anything. We only gained from that... See what missions for the artifacts, Garrett. Excellent. Follow me. Yeah, this could be easier said than done, mate. The Mot arrows, we've got twenty, so that's probably the max of them as well. Hi, Deadbeat. How are you? Ooh, look at that. I need to put that on my map somewhere. What, you, you want me to go in there? You want me to go in? You haven't said. You have not specifically said I should go in there. You're just presuming that I Hello, know. Garrett. Hello. Well? Really, Garrett? Okay, you say things. Cool. Okay, can we? Can we? Can we? Uh, there mess? is no need to threaten me.
You all right? You okay? Pardon me. <laughs> You're fine. Scared, not here. <laughs> Garrett. Yes. It's not worth it. It's totally not worth it. The gas arrow. It's not worth it. Oh, you could kill him. Fine. The repetition of these three glyphs here and here. Now is the Termanu symbol. The times are written. The end of words. And here, again, the mark of the Fratelli Traderos. Yes. Warnings. No, if it's Terrible. loud. Unvisage in Zafalere. Tepardon Bordani Mosbodendi. In living death. The prophecies are clear. There is much ahead to be wary of. Interpreter Kataka, your words are most useful clear to... Clear as mud. <laughs> exactly what will happen. And what are we supposed to do about it? I'm still waiting to see a useful book. We must first understand the unwritten times, if we are to prevent them. First Keeper Orland demands immediate audience. You've moved up in the world, Orland. Nice. Your fridge, nice. <laughs> yes, I have. It's first, Keeper Orland, now, Garrett. Within these walls, you answer to me. <laughs> you called me here to remind me you're in charge? The job must not keep you very busy. You inquired about books. Useful books. That's right. You must have something in here worth reading. You think you might shape events more skillfully? Read the signs more clearly? The prophecy. Shape events? Interesting way to put it. I'm here now. Do you want my help or not? Very well. This will admit you to certain areas of the library. Do not venture further. You will not ply your trade here, thief. If anything happens, you will be held accountable. Is this clear? Perfectly. Perhaps you should translate for Kataka. Hey, Severax Woo. New objective, everybody. Don't tempt him. I know, right? He's like, so, Master Thief, don't thieve here <laughs> because it's not allowed. And he's like, it's not allowed anywhere I do it, mate. <laughs> it's, it's never stopped me. Search around the Keep Library for clues about the Dark Age. Um, oh wait, there's more. There's a load, actually. Speak to Keeper Artemis before you leave the library. S speak to Keeper Isolde before you leave the library. Okay, so a load is in three, but it's kind of hard to tell how many there are when it's such a large font. I could change it, but... So we're just gonna... Hello? Hello, friend. This is Orland's office. He is busy and has nothing more to say to you for now. Yep, absolutely. Has there been any progress, Elder Granger? On which quest? the reacquisition of the Compendium of Reproach, or of its Glyph Key. Either. We will need both items in our hands if we wish to make any headway into our research concerning the coming Dark Age. There would be considerably more progress if the teams were allowed to consult with Interpreter <clears throat> Kaduka. Impossible. She seeks the Brethren and Betrayer, and her work must not be interrupted. Then the answer to your previous question is no. What will it take to find them, then, do you think? The Council would like time to prepare for the prophecies that are contained within the Compendium. They have both been missing for so long, but...
But I am sure with all of us continuing to scour the library and the compound for passages that refer to them, we'll have the precise answer within a reasonable time period. Meanwhile, just in case, I have scribes searching for any book matching its physical description. Hmm. A large golden slab sealed with a glyph. So, the Keepers are hoping to solve the Dark Age problem by finding this compendium and glyph key. I'm pretty good at acquiring lost objects. Maybe I can help. Ding dong! No ding dong? Fine. Aren't they the same company though? No, they're not. I'm, I'm sure there was some equivalence to, between this and Deus Ex Invisible War. Though. Because you're right. With the circular, there's all, all the circles everywhere. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, Tiber. Well, I wouldn't bet on it, right? <laughs> Don't forget. Garrett is me. <laughs> Deus Ex Invisible War is your favourite series, though. You know why? Aside from from how much I played it, it's the Coffee Wars. <laughs> yeah, the freaking yeah, same developer. I guess it was same developer. So yeah, there you go. That would that would be why. The Coffee Wars. I did like the Coffee Wars. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, hang on. Wait, we've got to read it. Keeper Rafe Raff Journal Entry Number Six Thousand One Hundred and Forty Freaking Five. I don't know. Is Nightbot broken? <laughs> I don't think I've ever just I've ever, I've ever said dollar sign randomly. There you go. Apparently, I may, maybe that's someone misentering the uh, the quote. <clears throat> Why hasn't Council assigned a team for my expedition? They know the dangers. Um. Oh, the area is swarming with strange creatures. Why lock the entrance so carefully? How can I do it alone? Still, they must have their reasons. The sunken citadel. Oh, that sounds like fun. We're going there. Holds many secrets. And though I am afraid, I am also long to journey there again. Most importantly, of course, is the glyph key. How many years has it lain underground? Decades? We were so close with the first expedition. If only we hadn't been attacked, we'd have the key now. So a keeper Soledad would still be... And it will still be alive. <laughs> Her death must not be in vain. I will retrieve the key successfully in this next venture. No, you won't. You absolutely will not. About 16 and a half years. That makes sense, though, right? The keepers generally. Well, if this guy thought the glyph key was in this sunken citadel, Elio? I don't see why I shouldn't go look there. Sounds like it might be a profitable trip. Oh, yeah, that's one. I mean, they were talking about that just then, weren't they? They were like, oh, if only we could find the glyph, uh, key, to the key to the glyph key. If only there was one around here. And it's like right on this open book, on this open page right here. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Notice from the council regarding the impending dark age. <clears throat> Hello, Rube. How are ya? <laughs> no team tongue. <laughs> Indeed, since it's of utmost importance that Imper Interpreter Cardica continue her quest to uncover the identity of the Brethren and Betrayer, she should not be interrupted for any reason. Also, several elders have been tasked with the, with other urgent endeavours, including the search for the missing Compendium of Reproach and the Glyph Key that unlocks it. Yeah, so that's so difficult to find, isn't it? A clue to that. The Compendium, a large golden slab sealed with a glyph, may contain prophecies pertinent to the Dark Age problem, has been missing for well over a decade. It is useless without it. Um, it's Glyph Key, which may have gone missing around the same time. If you have been assigned to one of the quest groups, an elder will contact you. Brilliant. It would be better if the malformed glyphs were saved for study. You guys chatting down there, I can't hear you, so... I'm gonna read this other book. As heedless as ever, I see. You're the guy who's in the look. This is, this is you, dude. This is you. This is all you, right? Twist your 
Let's there you go. Subscribe. Oh, whoops. I'll just leave that there. You do presume, Garrett. I'm floating now. I am floating. I'll just save and reload. <laughs> Steal his stuff and throw. Oh. Whoa! Oh, he's gone now. Oh, no, he's there. Fine weather we're having, Hello. eh? Uh -uh. Blast, Garrett! It's gone. I have troubling news. Had to clear the and the pagans have discovered it was you who stole their artifacts. Really? Both factions are very angry. How did However, that happen? They are willing to overlook your recent crimes if you are willing to aid them by performing specific tasks. Until then, beware, for they will attack you on sight. A hammerite named Inspector Drept wrote this missive for me to deliver to you. I contacted a pagan shaman named Diane, and she agreed to post a similar note for you on the outskirts of the pagan territory in the docks. I have done what I can to aid you. Really? Farewell, and good luck. I'd like to know how they knew it was me. Something, Garrett. They were great. The hammers and pagans are mad at me because of jobs I did for the keepers. I better find out what they want, and then decide whether or not I want to bother trying to improve their opinion of me. Yeah, so now the faction stuff is unlocked. So these guys are hostile. <clears throat> Great. What are you guys talking about? Elder Draco, may I speak with you? I think I found something in my studies. A yeah, I would think so. I wouldn't even. And speak up, scribe. I can barely hear you. Well, everyone knows the Compendium of Reproach has been missing, and then last week I scribed a passage, and it read, The Compendium will be born by a terrible storm. Yes, I remember the report. Interesting. Yet, no sign of any inclement weather. It's, a, sh it's a ship, you no, idiot. But then, just a few days ago, a ship came into the docks area. Do you remember the report from Keeper Alcott? He said the ship had managed to get itself into port, though no one was left alive to man it. A plague ship. The crew. Undead. Yes, it is indeed a tragedy. And a mystery. But I see no connection. A storm would not cause the ship to befall such a fate. No, but the name of the ship, Elder Draco. The name of the ship is the Abysmal Gale. Is that not another way of saying terrible storm? This is the connection of which I speak. Even I knew ah, that. I see your point. And the error in your thinking. The compendium was lost ages ago. How could it possibly be on a ship that has just come into port? But... Enough, scribe. I have important business to attend to, in case you haven't heard. There's a dark age approaching. Yes, Elder Draco. Thank you for speaking with me. Maybe the scribe is on to something. Ding dong. I should check out this ship, the Abysmal Gale, next time I visit the docks. I think the docks is going to be unlocked, you know? Just have a feeling. Council, uh, keep a council report, keep a... Rafe will be allowed to return to the sunken citadel in an effort to retrieve what he believes to be the lost glyph key that, that opens the compendium of reproach. If his theory proves correct, then his success will bring us that much closer to the solution for the Dark Age. However, his request for a team has been denied, as more than one life was lost in the last expedition, and we cannot risk another such contingency. Furthermore, without proof that the glyph key is located in the sunken citadel, it would be unwise for us to overextend our resources in what could be unfruitful despite the plentiful uh, plentitude of valuables reported. Oh, nice. Lastly, the council has deemed the citadel unsafe and forbids any keeper to approach the sealed um, entryway in the dock sewers without prior approval. Oh, more dock stuff. <clears throat> Disappointing ghost ship un unlocked. Yes. Talia, I want to run this by you before I bring it to the Elder. You know how we search for the Companion of Reproach in our efforts regarding Dark Age? Well, I recently subscribed a passage. This is in case you, um, <laughs> you missed the dialogue somehow. 
Well, I recently scribed a passage in which the compendium was mentioned and it said, it will be borne by a terrible storm. And later we heard the report about the ghost ship um, and all is undead, completely unrelated to our work, right? Or is it? Because the name of that ship is the Abysmal Gale. Do you see? Do you see? Abysmal Gale, terrible storm, they mean the same. Imagine if it were my own efforts that led to the recovery of the compendium. Tell me if you think I've got something here. Your friend, Scribe Elson. Well, apparently, Tali was like, yeah, that's a good idea. And now he's going to be like, you bitch. <laughs> He called me an idiot. <laughs> suspicious books. Suspicious. So very suspicious. They're all very, very suspicious. Hello. Oh, another open thingy. Artemis, the passage I scribed below is all I could find on the subject you requested. Keeper Belios said there were other books, but we couldn't find them. Perhaps someone else is making similar inquiries. Balance Keeper Osteria. Sentience, also known as artifacts, soul stones, or relics. A grouping of five objects possessing special powers and what is thought to be a consciousness, normally only associated with living entities. Presumably created as part of an ancient safeguard against the forces of evil. Examples include the Heart of the Chalice. Heart and the Chalice, also called the Builder's Cup. Efforts to confine the sentience to one place for study have failed. How and when they have came into existence is not known. Recommend further study. We've probably just got two of them, haven't we? The Paw and the Chalice. There's also a Heart as well. Yeah, that's curious, curious. Let's find the scare the the is some valuable sound. Don't mind if I do, guys. Don't mind if I do. Garrett! Uh the prescribed penalty for your crimes against us is <laughs> Thanks. Alright, okay. However, I have convinced the Hamrite clergy to grant thee license, provided thou first perform enough of the following acts of atonement. First, the Rust Mites are large, cold coloured bugs that feed upon metal and undo our works. We hereby grant be the builder's blessing to destroy them with your arrows. Secondly, you can, if you you can smite the undead, for they are most abhorrent to us. For each of the, these tasks you can accomplish, your standing with the hammer order will increase a small amount. Whereas stealing from us or attacking any hammerite will surely decrease your standing. The choice is thine. At present, the hammerite will attack the on site if they find you on the street. If thou increase thy standing with us sufficiently, we will allow thee to pass unharmed. Do as many of these favours, and now we'll consider an ally, because he's an ally, and allowed into the fort I would in Old Quarter. Oh, sweet. Hi, Duke. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Lastly, it is my custom to ask everyone with whom I speak um, if they have seen a sort of hag or heard rumours of an old grey lady in the other scene of a gruesome crime. If so, it would be a great favour to me to tell what you know. It is my life's ambition to find the hag, but my misfortune to always be ten steps behind her. My workshop is located in Aldale, near the pub. Thank you, Drept. I actually quite like this, even though it can be a bit silly, like how they write thy, thou and thine. Yep, I like it. Hammer priests have blessed your bow with the ability to destroy rust mites. Shoot them with broadhead arrows. Ding dong, ding dong. So what do the, what do the um, pagans want me to do then? So we need to speak to her. Go to the docks. Go to the docks. Go to the docks. <laughs> Rust mites kill undead. Yeah, so we need the one from the pagans. I don't see that around. Do you know about the pagans, sir? Tell me about the pagans. What do they want? Yeah, I wouldn't even. Nice of them, isn't it? Scribe, when you are completely done with your other tasks, go to the Forbidden Library and retrieve some for me the map of the Keeper compound. I left it on the second floor. Did you? Good to know. Yeah, new notes. Yeah, I think I think that's um thing, isn't it? Where is that wand? Have I misplaced it? It's here. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Interpreter, Katika. I barely recognize her now. How old 
she has grown, and so quickly. It is not right that she can heed Orland's warnings abuse. about Garrett. Is aging her too <coughs> Hello, Garrett. Right here. <laughs> Orland informs me that you are to receive the Keeper Door Glyph. You must perform the scribe ritual to do so. Place your hands into the indentations on the plaque behind me. That is all. I guess you mean here, right? Sometimes when I roleplay, I come across notes written by dwarves, and for some reason they've written the note with a dwarfish accent, which makes no sense. <laughs> yes, accents, no, but dialects, yeah, right? Dialects should be written down, but accents, not so much. Mm. So the next, oh yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, on the, on, yeah, in the docks. That's right, Valk, you're right. <clears throat> I know, Duke, but they're failing at it. This glyph will allow you to see and open keeper doors. Look for this glyph on a wall and use it, and a door will appear. It's kind of neat, isn't it? Very well, Garrett. You now have all the powers of an acolyte. You are able to see and open keeper doors. Look for the glyph. Keeper Artemis also wishes to see you, I believe. Farewell. Uh, it's first you keeper Artemis. yourself, Garrett. What do you mean? If I suggest something, the only reply is that it is not worth further study. Indeed. This is the game haven't aged well. Not particularly, no. Um, to all acolyte and scribes, come to my attention that some of you have not yet undergone the acolyte ritual. And there have been unsubstantiated rumours of about the safety of such practices. The Ecolite Ritual is a simple keeper indoctrination. It's completely safe and mandatory for all scribes. After the ritual, you'll be able to see and use Keeper Dog, uh, the Keeper Dog Glyph. The importance of acquiring this glyph cannot be stressed enough. Without it, a keeper would be unable to see or open the myriad of secret glyph doors that have been placed throughout the city to mark our presence bypass the city gates store supplies and aid our maneuverability that's pretty cool isn't it it's i love that though that's really nice um the current citywide quarantine is a perfect example of the importance of the a keeper door glyph as with it we can easily pass between south quarter and the docks using our secret gut door near the gate if you have any questions that an elder can assist you so that explains all of the uh, all right hj um you take care see you soon but yeah, it, it explains all of the, um, or at least a lot of the dead ends. Just just paths that go nowhere, and then they keep a doorways. That's pretty cool. What? Habit. So I come from this direction? No. Well, let's go this way. So we don't have a map of this place yet. It's on the second floor, but we're going to wander down here. This way leads to the forbidden libraries. I could sneak my way in, but I can't let any keepers catch me in there. Well, that's happening. That is very inappropriate. <laughs> Is it? All right then. So then I can just like run past him now. What do you reckon? Stop. This library is not permitted to you. But you haven't seen me. I mean, can you see me? You I may guess... not enter this library. I guess you can see me. Hmm. Can I get behind you? Stop. This library is not permitted to you. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know, you know, but he's just trying, trying to get in. Yeah, he's annoying. I can't kill him. Not allowed. <clears throat> what? Hang on. What? Um, I thought I didn't have to. Wait a minute. Don't attack them or get caught. All right. I thought it was do not kill them. Fine. Fine. <laughs> right. So how are we going to get in there without attacking him? Why are you not a 
about your work. Oh, I just do I have to do the glyph thing again? I guess not. So I'm allowed this boy, that probably leaves. Let's just try it, try it, shall we? Just a prank, bro. You know. Okay, that's where we came in. All right. Come all, bring me to the reference stand. Come all. I recognize that name. Come, we have just a bit more Greetings, Elder. Oh, I get it. Alright, that's cool. Alright, yeah, I know what's up. This way leads to the forbidden libraries. I could sneak my way in, but I can't let any keepers catch me in there. Nice tech, alright. You, you may not enter this library. Go on. Speech check? No? Yeah, we'll try other other ways. Suspicious, suspicious, but it's very suspicious. Cancel delivery because the tuck broke down. That's bad luck, man. That is bad luck. Have you have you like got a fridge like now that you're using? Or are you without one completely? <clears throat> uh, the trouble started when I asked permission to leave the library in order to visit the compound and begin research for a new paper. The treatise on us. Uh, the, the, a treatise on us, on keepers, our history and founding principles. To my knowledge, no such book has been written. Yet it seemed worthy endeavor. My purse, uh, my proposal was well thought out and included chapters on balance and the powers of glyphs. However, permission to visit the compound was not great to me. In fact, my request was met with surprise and outright suspicion. Surely my idea was a good one, and I would be um, thorough in my research and truth in my conclusions. But um, saying so only seemed to trouble the elders further. Then today, my duties were reduced. Could it be related to my request? And if so, why? I'm afraid to press these questions further. Besides, who would I ask? Well, plug for one way. Yeah, I probably will. I can't see why not. That'd be... Yeah, history and founding principles. Nothing's been written about it. <laughs> and they don't want it written about. Interesting. Suspicious books. Very, you're all very suspicious books. Very suspicious. Got suspicious books everywhere. I'm very suspicious. <laughs> I didn't even, didn't even expect it. And there it is. And I was like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that noise behind me? <laughs> Well, I don't know if I should have pressed that. Oh, okay. You know what? I didn't I didn't even know it was there. I didn't know that was the room that you meant. Cool. <laughs> okay. Shh, 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 shh. In fact, we'll do a proper save here. Shush, shush, shush. Serious time. Serious time. The proper... So, first proper save of the session. Shush, shush. What is your opinion? About the libraries? I think Orland is right to restrict Garrett's movements. Oh, they're talking about me. These books are far too valuable to risk. Besides, there's nothing here in the Forbidden Libraries that a thief would want, unless the thief were the brethren and betrayer Arcadica seeks. Then you do not believe. What, the prophecies? I believe. 
I just don't believe it's Garrett to which they refer. Ooh. Perhaps Orland is the one. Or one of us, perhaps. It seems logical it would be an elder. We alone possess the knowledge and skill. Indeed. So you think it is folly to accept Garrett in our midst? His aid with the coming Dark Age will prove ineffective? Of course. What can he do that we, all of us, cannot do? I wish I were as sure as you, Elder Callow. Elder Callow is not nice. We do not like her. Right, we cannot bunk anyone, right? We cannot bunk anyone. Oh, chairs are bad. No bonking. No bonking. No bonking. Brother still vibes? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I did. You're right. I would not even. Should I tell the others about the diathemes glyph? If only I could be sure of what I saw. Or who to trust. No bonking, Rube. Definitely the place for water arrows, though. 100%. Gonna take this real slow. <clears throat> turn the other way I mean you care from that direction so I'm assuming you're walking around in circles thank you interesting is it that interesting is it really that interesting well, of course it's still there where else would it go it remains what sort of thing observation is that oh, the torch is out but it's still there acolyte is that you there do come forward. Ah, ah, I knew it. Time. Yeah, damn it. That was always bad luck, though. Him just being right at the place I didn't want him to be at that point. But I shouldn't have put that torch out, really. Not so close to her. Um... Did I get that one? Okay. Going I past it. The others <clears throat> about the diathemes glyph. If only I could be sure of what no. I saw. Well, they still saw me, so. Who to trust? So not that daft, are they? You there? But how? Okay, she's there. <laughs> uh, we'll just stop and read this. <clears throat> um, Keeper Dover, journal entry number 2136. I should have known better than to bring it up in front of the entire council. Still, my words have some effect, at least now there is the resolution forbidding it. I believe that it will cause many to think twice should the temptation arise. Meanwhile, we should all be in the watch for the telltale signs. The dead animals, the life force is drained. It is not a love of creatures that compels me to speak out, no. 
they are pitiable, but inconsequential. I can only speculate on how long a keeper could extend his normal lifespan this way. A hundred? Two hundred? Yes? Yes, maybe longer. But it would take more than vermin to accomplish that. And I, now that I possess the knowledge, can truly say that I am... Um, and I... Can, can I truly say that I'm, I too am not tempted? This is why I cannot remain silent. That and the glyph that the Earl of Beryl speculates must exist. Though I have yet to find one that enables shape-shifting. What a potent elixir of glyph magics that would be. Hmm. Alright, so she's not going to be a problem there. Let's just... It does. Just stay here and see what we can find. I want to take this nice and slow. Lots of clumping about going on. Much clumping. Hmm. Must have a scribe replace that torch. Okay, nothing in these at all. Go away. <clears throat> what are you looking at? You can't even see. Mind you, Garrett could, but he's got a mechanical eye. So maybe he was reading with that. Okay, problematic. Suspicious, suspicious, very suspicious, suspicious. So very suspicious, suspicious. You're all suspicious as well, all suspicious. Oh god, he's coming back. Flame never lasts. He's not suspicious though. Yeah, you'd have thought, but yeah, yeah, not, uh, not worthy. Oh, I see it. I see a glinty, shiny thing. <gasps> I closed the game. Somehow I closed the game. I managed to click on the, uh, <laughs> click on the border of the window and then somehow hit close. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Don't know how I managed that. Oops. Well, that's why we save, right? Oh my god. Freaking. Right, tell me to save next time. Keep it the save. Tell, tell, it's your fault, chat. It's your fault. Doing this for the third time, it's your fault. Now. I will read that just in case it's important. Stolen, but how? Oh boy. <laughs> Probably nothing. It's pretty much where we were before. <clears throat> right, shiny thing. The shiny thing. I'm gonna go back down there, but I just want to grab the, th the shiny thing. There we go. We got flame never lasts. Suspicious. <clears throat> the Pagan situation by Keeper Tallow. Pagans have begun to infiltrate into more areas, using decaying infrastructure to mask their presence. They now have sanctuaries in almost every district. Diane, their high priestess, was a successor to the Pagan leadership after the wooden in Victoria was desiccated. Yes. She died fighting Karras. She was, she was a good lass. Um, she didn't try to take over the world with the, with the trickster, though. So... Um, 
Diane is often seen with a staff, although it has not been available for study. Her commander, Laxper, is aggressive and dangerous. The two control a large number of shamans who invoke the powers of plants both to hurt and to heal. I believe that the pagans are able to accelerate plant growth. They are. Such that they could rapidly accumulate a great imbalance. Recommend further observation. Suspicious. <clears throat> Prophet. It's really good how they carry a torch around us. That's, that's awesome. We got a map. Nope. Yes. Okay. Not sure where we are, though. At all. Not a clue. Well, I guess I don't know. Save, I'm safe. I'm safe. Like it says there. It says. Yeah. Too late saying now. Bloody. Oh, hello, sir. You can't get good help, you know. You just cannot get good help. Uh, transcript of Keeper Council meeting. <clears throat> Xavier Keeper Beryl has the flaw. Beryl, I thank the Council and the First Keeper. Today I have prepared a report on the backgrounds of several missing Keepers. My goal was to find common elements in their research that might lead to an explanation for their disappearances. Although there was no one thing they had in common, I believe I have found at least uh, tangential evidence that they could be related. I'll start with Keeper Dover, whom you will remember his rather un unpopular theories about the nature of prophecy and especially his interest in corruption. Ah, oh, they're a real Keeper. Boy. Uh, Tabor. Keeper Beryl. The Council does not need to discuss on each missing Keeper. Have you found a common element to their research or not? Beryl. Well, it's not that simple. I was trying to explain. Savine. Perhaps Keeper Beryl has found several themes they all had in common. Beryl. If the council pleases, I have organised a report and would like to continue with my presentation. Tabor. I move that this information be uh, disseminated outside of the council forum so that this, each of us can review Beryl's findings separately. If necessary, the subject can be brought up at a subsequent meeting. Beryl. With respect to Keeper Tabor and all those present, it's very... This very subject has been delayed by the council bef uh, before. And I, Xavier, enough! This meeting will be adjourned for now. Keepers Tabor and Beryl will report to me in my um, quarters immediately. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. They don't want... There's definitely some shenanigans. Sorry, I have to go that way. Oh, I'm being too cocky. Okay, we made it. <laughs> there is no voice now. Reminds me of a joke. FK. It's like um I can't remember how it goes essentially, but it's pretty much like Um Got a girlfriend. Uh she works at the zoo. Saw her, and I thought she's a keeper. Okay, so this is a problem. Am I just gonna... Apparently, apparently so. Alright. Well, that's, that's dandy then. <clears throat> and the shiny? Can I get the shiny as well? Is that a bit greedy? Apparently not. Okay, so you're compl you might actually literally be blind, which is fine and handy. If only, if only, Maxter. Hi, Raptor. OK, 
Okay, so we've reached the top floor, which is cool and nice and cozy and cuddly. Is that is that shiny up there? It is. Guiding acolytes to their destiny, part seven. Enforcers, the will of the keepers. <clears throat> Uh, the call of the enforcer is a strong one. Those who wish to augment their strength and swiftness and those who wish to protect the balance at all costs are drawn to this dominion. Acolytes should note that once indoctrinated, an enforcer can, can only communicate telepathically. The enforcer's education consists of all manner of stealth training and, and specialized weaponry must be mastered. After taking the vow, the glyphs are applied and the transformation takes place immediately. Once coveted by... The glyphs, there is no known way of count countering the changes. Elders who are guiding acolytes along this path should take care in revealing the most sensitive aspect of the sacrifices involved. Ooh. Yeah, no, we can't attack them. We cannot attack them. Um, all the way down here. Restrictions you're working with the keepers do not attack them or get caught doing anything that caused them to attack you which includes bonking Which I admit really Really sucks. Okay, fine Didn't have time to wall hug there. I have no idea where I am. Not a clue. Okay. I thought that was Kadika. Yeah. But I didn't think she'd be... I thought when you approach this area... Oh, hello. Extra loot. Uh, she'd be, like, down below. And you'd, you'd be watching. So I did assume there'd be no one up here, I must admit. Now she's saying nothing. Which is cool. Don't come back in. Oh, come on. Really? That massive book's worth nothing? This is suspicious. <laughs> oh my god, I saw it! Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so good at this game. I'm so freaking good. I'm so stoked that I actually saw something that was hidden. So stoked. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I'm so happy with that. So pleased with myself. Beaming. <laughs> this looks like it's important, a you know. secret room, eh? Always my favorite room in a house. Oh, that, cancel that, that candle will not be unlit. Right, let's go. I'm just kidding. Just just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Thorinson. <clears throat> An acolyte described this passage yesterday. Sound familiar? Meet me. Sold. <clears throat> I was about to <laughs> Light the candle, open the book, and they miss the bell. Ah, watch his key, blow it. Um, the safeguard against the evil ones will be found. The last of all glyphs that 
all can view but none can see the eye will be born by the one who will mark not yet um who will not yet bear the mark between the two none shall come until unwritten times are upon us well the eye there you go the eye capitalized i mean that's what we've got in our head will be born by the one who will not yet bear the mark which i guess i don't have the the, the last of all glyphs that cannot be seen by uh, no one can see yeah okay well ding dong no apparently not so it's just for flavor but i love it you annoy me sir i have been bested by this candle all right well time to get out again No. Or could it be something else in me? If only I had those books. Well, actually, yeah, but I felt that that, that bear bookcase was suspicious. So suspicious. Right. Where are you, Kalika? Right there. Okay, so we'll just. Good old boy. Okay. Stay there. Oh, I saw a shiny thing. We're using all of our arrows here. I mean, it just it makes sense because we actually have to be stealthy here. All the missions so far have been like, well, you should be stealthy. <laughs> So he's probably going to get all uppity about that, isn't he? Uh, stolen? What? But how? Hello, Chris. Hello, hello. Yeah, Valk. I mean, yeah, that, that's something that's definitely uh, good across all the games is, is, is the world building really get a feel for all different factions and such how are you doing chris we're leaving now we've definitely found all that we need to leave although there's stuff over there no no we have been over there but he has shinies that i haven't got fine it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too difficult to grab his shinies <laughs> i'm doing i'm doing good thank you chris Child Gamal, yes, I remember why Gamal is is Son. creepy. Could be. Keep herself the victim of a pickpocket. Just a random noise. It would be better if the malformed glyphs were saved for study. So it's lit again. We're almost out. I'm happy, I'm really happy with how this has gone. Out. Oh my god. Oh no, I didn't get that shiny over there. What the hell? More shinies.
I wonder what book it was. Maybe I'd have stood here when it opened it. Not quite sure. Anyway, totally haven't been doing anything. Totally haven't been doing anything. Nope, nothing, nothing going on in there. And they're like, Garrett, where have you been for the past hour? <laughs> Still have to revered elder. Hi. You're not talking to me, are you? I hesitate to call that translation garbled, but something was not right. I should mention this to keep a mandoc. So, oh yeah. Okay, I've spoken to everyone. All right, so now we can leave. So we've got the Docks Pagan Stronghold to read the letter. Search the sewers. The entrance is sunken citadel, which I think we'll do first. The ship's really cool, though. What's on the floor shining? Oh, that's um, a keeper wand that I stole because I was being a git. So we have seen everyone, so we don't need to go this way. We can get out here. And we'll see what cool doorways we've unlocked as well. Ship is very short. That's what I'm thinking as well. Is that, you know, because that's taken about an hour and a bit, we'll do a short mission now. But yeah, let's find out if we can see all... So we're up here, right? We're, we're here. Um. So this side, people do not like us. We've, we've alerted everybody. Um, but we can look for bugs and kill them. Um, I do also want to buy some water arrows. Short and terrifying. I think it's a really good mission. It's one of the few that I remember about this uh, game. Not that the missions are bad, but it was a long time ago, you know. Finding all the bugs is a bit like finding all the golden sculptures in um, Ocarina of Time. So should we compare? Because I think it'll go up straight away, right? Won't go up much. But, so this is for the hammers. So it's right there, just where that the H is, right? Just there. Might be loud. It is. Oh, look at- wow! Okay, I thought it's gone a lot more than I expected. <laughs> you can actually tell. I thought it would have gone up like a, like a sliver, like a pixel or something. But good. The ship is short and kind of disappointing, you reckon? I mean, I, I remember it from like, what, 10 years ago or whatever? So... Anyone played Shapes.io? No. Nope. Fred, no. Sorry. <laughs> cool. Well, it would, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd expect it to. So I might run around looking for those as well. So these guys... Leave me the hell alone. Sorry about that. Oh, need to sneeze. Alright, I sneeze. And also, um, yeah, kind of... Oh, it's not a guard. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, though. Thank you. Thank you. So I want to get my water arrows back up.
Yep, you're right. Found you. Now stand and fight, ruffian. Oh, that's 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 really unfortunate. That's such a shame. Oh, I gotta quit. I'm smokes. <laughs> Even if I flash brought him, he'd still be in the way. All right, so don't just blow them up. Yeah, cheese. Oh, what? Oh, what the? No, wait. We're getting out, aren't we? We're out. Okay. God sex. I thought it'd be an auto save. Anyway, yeah, we're fine. We don't stop it. I know. I like that. I didn't expect that at all. Right. <laughs> Gotta get them smoking. <laughs> Oops. So it's nothing here. Great. So I'd blow this up and then run that way, I think. Just wait for everyone to calm down. That was two. They're still hostile, but... They've stopped posting a guard there now because it just got knocked out all the time. You're really annoying. I think I can just like get behind him. How many times do I have to tell them to shut this? Apparently so. Apparently, yes. That went well. Oh, let's hello. Alcohol and coffee, yes. Not a great combination. Hang on a minute. <laughs> so it's... Big mean guarding person out there. So this is out, but still lit. Interesting. Why are you following me? Don't want to go down there. I mean, I didn't do that. That was not me. It's just that once... 
SPL. One's a sedative and one's a um, stimulant. So, I mean, you get the same with like vodka Red Bulls and that, but it's just, it's just not. I suppose they even like, like, like JD and Coke is the same thing. Yeah, there's a body there. I need to get rid of this. It's, it wasn't me. It's obviously a big... People just walk past it and freak out. Come on. Come on. Yep, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes. Look, there's a huge gap. No, it's not, that's not going to work. There we go. Huh? Oh, no. I'm not armed, but I know some people who are. Never mind. Right Do we dare go back into this way? Oh man, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Flash bomb at the ready. Can't see. Not quite quick enough, but okay, there's one. Plus we got the fence. Let's do that first. Did I mention? You don't, you don't have to call me Black Mo Yes, you did. Like Bertha. Yes, you mentioned Just... it. Yes, you mentioned it. We're gonna get our stuff and then blow that thing up. Looking for something special today? Let me know, Garrett. Oh no. Um... Hey, ever think of having a partner? Someone to keep a lookout. Uh, that's in the next game. <laughs> My one night away from the pub, and he's tied up with some part-timey work down the docks. How's that for no good luck? Quiet night. Have a nice night. Ah! Oh! Ice? Are you kidding me? You won't get far. I'll do. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, wait there. I'll be right back with some help. Wait there? What the taff is wrong with you? Hmm. Okay. What the? Someone took it? Right off my person. Right off your person, because that's how people speak. I'm not seeing any bugs anywhere. See how they feel about us now. Oops. Neutral. Okay, there you go. So that didn't take long. Guy doesn't do well with partners. No. No. Or even people he just vaguely knows, right? <clears throat> Been robbed. What's that? Oh, and so, ally, they'll fight for you and get in trouble, which is really helpful. Oh, that's the chaos. Yeah. So now it's suddenly guards against hammerers. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's it's cool, but it's. It's not very thiefy, is it?
It's a rat. I know there's one vaguely around here. There it is. Now they're now they were neutral before. <laughs> Keep up, Kim. Wow, you're actually going to attack me? I think he's just alerted. I'm becoming... Yeah, I'm becoming less and less bothered about trying to... keep things calm, because it just breaks down regardless. Bloody... That's how you get into the docks. Come on. Um. Oh, yeah, I got to right click it rather than press E because E's lean. <laughs> there. All right. So that's that. It's the thief. <laughs> Subtle. There's not one down there. I thought there might be. A door, that is. Remember being able to glitch my way over that locked gate to the docks as a kid? Yeah. FK, I mean, it's... Cool. I say it's not just, just. I think it takes away from the game a little bit. Let me know what I can do for you, Garrett. Wonderful. Someone's been. So we've probably got another um, fence in the docks. But I want to replenish my water arrows at least. We'll get like five. I'm Thomas, the proprietor here. We're here to help. Six. If you need anything. Seven. You'll be happy with your purchases, sir. You know where to find us if you're not. Okay, to the docks. To the docks. So we'll explore the docks area and we'll also do the plague ship today. And also go into the prison. Not really. A new area, new area. Exciting. The docks, the mm. poor part of town, full of cramped tenements and surly residents. I wouldn't come here looking for a helping hand, but it's the right place to hire a few murderous thugs, or for those who are in the market for something rare and exotic. Precious imports from ships are stored here until they're moved to more wealthy districts, so the docks can be a good place to rob, as long as you keep an eye out for fishy characters, and of course, the city watch. The quarantine still has the docks cut off from the other districts, but the keeper door glyph got me past the gates. Working with the keepers isn't all bad, I guess. And I have a hunch I'm in the right place to return the favor. If the keepers are right, and there's a dark age coming, then docks is where to start searching for it. It's about as dark as this city gets. The docks. Docks. <laughs> I know, right? We're breaking all the rules. 
So the docks. All right, so we're just coming from here. So some sewers there. Wonderful. Uh, we'll probably pop in there. And then we've got a fence there and a fence there. So that's kind of handy. The abysmal gales there. Pagan are here. Oh, I remember the pagan area, actually. Tavern there. Sweet. Okay, yeah, so... So that is indeed a guard coming. Metal grates here. To spruce things up a little bit, just to mix things up. How are you doing, sir? You are a guard, aren't you? I think you are. Here you are. Fairly quiet here, though, so... Should be able to... Do a bit of bonking. Not like a bit of bonking, is there? Maybe we can put him here. <laughs> Probably not. No passing quarantine area. Bar of the city watch. No inquiries. Visitors. Wild hitters will be prosecuted. <laughs> right, so there's a way into the sewers, which we do need to go, but I do want to get rid of my stuff. The store here in the docks is a great place to shop for interesting items. I should stop in. All right, well. Greetings, and thank you for shopping at the Undercurrent. Sam Swarthy, proprietor, at your service. Mm, I, I've been working on a motto, but it ain't done yet. So just get shopping. Well, luckily, we can afford the climbing gloves. Hope you washed your hands, and cover your mouth if you cough. There's a quarantine, you know. And I ain't buying that zombie ship explanation. Hmm. It's the plague. Mark my words. Ahoy there, um, shopper. These gloves, you can climb any surface made of stone, blocks, or bricks. Jump onto the walls to climb them. Get fight arrows here as well. And four, though, so... Ahoy there. So, not wood then. So if we would go here. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so it's like Daggerfall climbing, really, in a way. But how do we stall? Okay. Sweet. <clears throat> Spider Garrett. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is it's a similar kind of, kind of uh, feels the same. Yup. I see more than a day, and I reckon most folks ever do. Like when I was gutting that mackerel, but nobody will believe me that it came out what came out of his belly. Nobody believes old, old Eli. Guess they think the salt airs shriveled my thinking cap. Well, maybe it did. Reminds me of the time I was working my scrimshaw when the metal whale came floating by. Made a sound I won't ever forget. There were even words on it. Cetus Amicus. Yeah, so that was a thief too. Um, don't forget a thing like that. Breathes fire too. So scared I nearly witted my thumb off. Good evening Marshall. Welcome in. How are you? It's a climb we promise for Cyberpunk. Oh, really? Cyberpunk had um... had empty promises to do? Whatever, are you? I don't know. I don't know much about Cyberpunk's um, development. I do want to play it though. It's on, you know, not not especially um, to stream it, but you know, I'll, I'll play it at some point. Saturday chili. Not here. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna go down here and uh, sell stuff then. 
This is a high octane stream. Who's that? Let me get a look at you. Hello. You must be that fella Garrett. Yep. Fancy yourself a famous thief I hear, but that don't impress me. Anyway, famous or no, old Dahlia will take care of you. If you've got artwork to sell, this is the place. But no funny business, got it? Oh, I think I've got a bet. I'm not much for handing out compliments, but no regular thief could have nabbed this much. Thank you. So we're back up seven and a half grand. <laughs> Oh, I want to blow that up. I mean, yeah, we're going to blow it up. Well, I, we will see. If... Wrong button. Wrong button. What bees that you have us? A lettering from Diane. Whoops. I'd be sticking it up here so them thiever Garrett, he bees reading it. Him? Bees, I want to deading him, not leaves him letters. Me too. But Diane says him could be of using to us. Her says no kill. Not yet. Bees, you think him will reads them letter? Bees not matter what I thinks. Diane thinkers him will, and Diane bees always right. Uh, you come in like right here. Hey, is there? What bees moves there? Uh, bees yeah. that? Who bees? What bees that? What? Oh, Someone be in them alley. <sighs> you get. Oh, my eyes! Bees can't st- uh, oh, oh, who would see? Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna reload. I know, right? I know, that's why I was like... Are they actually gonna... Okay, fine. Um, that made no sense. More like an action game with RP elements rather than an RPG. Yeah, all good. I'll have very. I'm. I'm expecting basic, basically, kind of like Grand Theft Auto in Cyberpunk lands. Who's that? Let me get a look at you. Right, I'll leave you to later, Mister Mister Bug. What bees that you havers? A lettering from Diane. I'd be sticking it up here so them thiever Garrett he bees reading it. Him? Bees, I want to deading him, not leaves him letters. Me too. But Diane says him could be of using to us. Her says no kill. Not yet. Yeah, no kill, bees, guys. You think him will reads them letter? Bees not matter what I thinks. Diane thinkers him will, and Diane bees always right. So where are you going, mate? I did not expect him to go straight towards me. And now he hasn't moved at all, so... Right, how am I supposed to read the letter, guys, if you're not going to leave? Should we upset them? What? You really? <laughs> Came right towards me. What the hell? <laughs> it was a bit, wasn't it? I guess I'll just run away. I could get up there. I be still wanting to fight, you know. Don't be a hider. I'm just gonna hang. It bees no use hiding, city head. I can see in the dark. That was ridiculous. As hidden as, as I could possibly be, shot from a long way away, still runs right up to me. I know he's an expert, but there are some things that just don't make any sense. Up. Bees not anywhere to be mm. found. 
Runned off like a coward. Yeah, I could have got up there, couldn't I? That's that's where it sort of intends for you to go, isn't it? Come on. Well, yeah, if it wasn't janky as hell. Never mind. They're leaving. <laughs> Garrett, my visioning is sure that it be was you who takered them Jack Knoll's paw from us. Fair enough, it was visionings, and there we go. This crime be punishable by deadings, but we be knowing Victoria would want to finding another way. We offers you this deal. First, you do us something for us, then we let you live. We have enchanting your bow, so you can do us favor, uh, do these favors. First, these many cornerstones in them city that we have ready for you to make greening. You bees will know which cornerstones because they deadings. Yep. Have greensy markings. Use your mossing arrows on them, and our magic of vines bees will grow there. Second, we bees have elemental cocoons in our territory, shaped like the crescent moon, and bees the height of a man. Fire your elemental arrows into them once each type per day, and bees will add to their strengthenings. When you do one of these favors, your standing with us will be improving a little. You bees not attacked by us pagans, really. Or steal from our territory, or attacks you, you not attack us, right? Or um, steal from any of our territories, or we bees decreasing your standing with us. Now you bees are enemy, and you bees attacked by any pagan who finds you on them city head streets. Bees, you do us enough favors, and bees will not attack you on them streets. But bees, <laughs> you us many favors, and bees are friend and ally. We bees lets you into our territories. Bees, your choice. Bloody hell. Pagans have given you your board ability to grow vines and cornerstones, mount the cream symbols, shoot the cornerstones with more arrows. Is that one? We're going to do that. Um, more sour into cornerstones, shoot elemental arrow into their elemental cocoons. Is that... Is that a cocoon right there? Right there, is that a cocoon? We got it in. Because Because you know. Uh Garrett, do you wanna do you wanna thank you? What are you the Shh. What be someone be making some noise? Nope, nothing here. Okay, thank you. So I shoot a water arrow into there. Hello. Be something there's and they'll like me more. Alright. We're just going to wait here. I can't see them coming. Ha, I bees knows you're there, noise maker. <clears throat> okay. Let's uh let's let's try that, shall we? From bees from here. Don't work. So we're allied with them and a little bit less hostile with them. Okay. Bees something theirs. No sprocket. Nothing here. So we should probably come back here when we're allied with them. We're just risking uh, putting our reputation back. Please don't be stuck. Are you stuck? Okay, you're not stuck. Freaking annoying though. Should I just run for it? Oh boy. We bees clamoring to get this.
one arrow of each element per day. Oh, so I could have shot like a fire one in there and stuff like that. I don't think it's worth it though. Who's that? I don't know why I've gone into you again. We be clamberings up those wallsies. Mm. Yeah, so this is the way into the into old quarter that we haven't been yet been to yet. Yeah, if there's enough honor stones, hello. Oh, I'm floating. Hang on. Well, I'll just... Ice of Erex. Ice of Erex. There we go. No, go. Is that a ledge I can get onto? It seems like it should be. Apparently not. Alright, fine. Are you sure? Because it really seems like it should be a ledge I can get onto. So opposite the Gibble there's one across the path and to the left. We've seen one, have we? Because I haven't seen one. I don't know what looking for. Don't you remember this with this? Is that it? Wow, that's really. Would anyone think that was it? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Okay, so yeah, I know, I know the Mossara. I know, I know that. I know that. I know that. You can, you can stop now. Um, but. On a stone's map with green symbols. Green symbols, huh? Of course, it is pitch black, but there's no way to shine light on that, so how would you even know? I guess from seeing other ones. Okay. So I'll, I'll look out for those. No eyes be knowings what they be looking like. Spruce up my place a bit. Too bad I can't bring it home. Wouldn't want it in my place. Only reason it's here is because they think it could be dangerous. Dangerous? You mean poisonous or all prickly or something? My arrows are expensive. No. Don't you ever listen to the captain? The pagans were pretty upset when we got to it before them. They were gonna plant it someplace special or something. I figure it's got some pagan witchery attached to it. Oh, I see. Or I don't. It don't make sense. Why'd we take their plant away, even if it is a bit witchy? They got all kinds of herby plants, and I don't see us holding them under lock and key. Because the Hammerites tipped off the captain, said the pagans were gonna use it for no good or something. Hmm. This here's some kind of extra rare type of greenery. Anyway, them hammers are so oh, scary, you mean. they wanted to burn it up in one of their furnaces. Would have, too, so oh, yeah. the captain wanted to get to the bottom of things, so we locked it up here instead. Don't that mean that both the Thanks. pagans and the hammers will be angry with the cappy? Uh, at us? Maybe even, uh, try and break in and get it? Didn't think of it that way, but yeah, I guess you're right. Watch your back, eh, Freddy? Yeah, you too. You too. A new notes, everyone! Not that. Not that. Not that. The city watch are holding a sap, a pagan sapling. The pagans want it planted in their hideout. The hammerers want it burned. Hmm. Well, we'll do the plantings of it because that will help our standing with the pagans. 
Although, well, really we don't have to do either of them, because we'll get enough pagan... Favors anyway, but that's what I'm thinking about doing. Plus I can sneak into the hideout and have a reason to do it now. Getting distracted with city stuff. This guy shouldn't be too much of a bother, I think. <clears throat> of course, I've said it now. Yeah, okay, we'll just wait for him to come back. Get away. Is that a rat? It's a rat, okay. I'm back! You. <clears throat> hmm. Mind you, no, 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 don't, because you'll see it. The man. Can't. Oh. Can't. Uh, ah. I wouldn't have seen that. Uh -uh. Drop it! <laughs> now, now wh where are we keeping that? Timmy! I ain't got room in the warehouse right now. Boss says not until Friday. Our best bet is shipping it all out from here and hoping it don't rain. Hope there's nothing too valuable in my cargo. Anyway, sorry about the mix-up from Bill. Sorry about the mix-up. Sorry. Oh, the creepy ship is there, guys. The creepy, creepy ship's there. If I go into the water, I'll die, won't I? I'm pretty sure this Garrett cannot swim. I reckon, I reckon to get onto the boat, you go around here. I could swim before Garrett. Then get on this. Yeah, we did. Just... <laughs> Just a very dramatic way to die. Yeah, it's weird. Before the swimming was, was pretty cool. Alright, I guess we're not going to go on that. Is that a bug? It is, nice. Although I don't need to kill it. So what I think I'll do is I'll leave this bug here because our faction standing with the hammerers is allied. There's no need to put up any further, but if we accidentally upset them somehow, then we can, we've got some in the bank, if you like. We can't get above allied, so there's no point doing any more. Ah, the sage! Welcome in. How are you? Very quick, I know. It's like the water just kills him. Not that he drowns, the water literally kills him. Exactly, exactly, oh hi. Yeah. Sure are a lot of them. What? Zombies. Yeah. They came from that ship, poor bastards. The abysmal gale. And call me crazy, but ain't they a bit more riled up than normal? They're just a bit on the testy side, you know? Grumpy because they're wet. Idiot. <laughs> wet or dry, zombies don't care. <laughs> oh, like you're an expert. Anyway, don't worry. If one of them gets you, eh, I'll be happy to cut your leg off, or whatever it is you're supposed to do. You taffer, you only cut off my leg if that's where one of them gets me. See? Otherwise, there's no point. All right, all right, Not doing nothing. So mad. I'm just saying I help you out in a pinch, that's all. Well, it makes me mad that I got to explain these things all the time. <laughs> they're grumpy because they're wet. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be a bit tricky. We don't have to, of course. I might do the planting another night. I'm kind of keen to get onto the Abysmal Gale. If you could swim, this would be easy, right? But no. Now, of course, we've got... Yeah, this is the only way to get into this bit and the tavern. I wouldn't mind going to the tavern as well, for obvious reasons. We could just go and bonk one of the guards, and that will upset everyone. Could be worth it. Yeah, I think I'm going to make my move now. Uh, it's going to upset her. Someone get the horn to Now let's fight. Yep, he's seen me. Now, do you think he'll give up? Hey, where'd you disappear to? He has. <laughs> oh, I got a minute. What's that? Oh, there's a, there's a water arrow there. Oh, that's that's worked out quite well. Okay, there was a way here as well, apparently, but. I don't think it was any better. He didn't take a lot of uh, outwitting. He's there. <laughs> oh my god, there's two of them. Um. Very. Hello, how are you then? Oh no, I've I've been robbed. But how? The vault last it does come to our attention that the pagans uh, are at of a small tree that recently arrived by a boat in the Lai district docks. I don't know whether it's docks or the docks. Flash bomb service zombies? Okay. Good to know. Thanks. It's imperative that they don't obtain it. Uh, if it's anything like the pagan magic, so far it'd be bad for us indeed. The cursed thing is being held by the city watch. Methinks they must side with the pagans, or perhaps greed has overcome their senses of righteousness. If thou, if if thou, thinkest an offer of um, of more money would set things right, then twould be a goodly plan. But uh, brother, uh, on the lot, thinkest we should burn. Burn the witches! Burn the tree in a furnace. Um, but the furnace, most blessed vessel of the will, the master builder, will destroy the tree and consume its terrible magics. It is a furnace in the tavern here in the docks, and perhaps by the builder's grace will do the job. Though it is a poor substitute for the hammerite furnace. With their constants. Yeah, I think we're going to um, plant the tree in pagan territory. Because we're already friends with the hammerers. I guess there's the furnace. It's a very quiet inn, right, isn't it? Hi there. City Chronicle Extra. Doomed vessel arrived in docks, everyone. Merchant ship Abysmal Gale floated into port on Sunday with its captain and crew of 28 years missing or dead. Witnesses say the vessel, formerly under command of Captain Robert Moira, Moria, um, seemed to steer on its own. Now, 
under Sea Watch investigation. The curious uh, are warned to keep their distance from the boat. Officer Dirk Lamar explains. With this here cursed ship, you got your zombies, you got your ghosts, plus all the dangers of a regular ship. Drowning, splinters, what have you. With that said, um, this one report I will indeed be keeping their distance. Additional reports indicate the possibility that undead who disembark from the vessel may be congregating in or around the sewers. Cool. Let's not go in the sewers just yet then. For another day. Can I get in here without upsetting you? I'm just going to go. Apparently it's fine. Just stay out of their way and they leave you alone. But he wouldn't listen, would he? Now I don't know if he's dead or alive. Oh wait, there's a... So we can get him now and that healing potion so I can drink the other one. I mean we can get on it here, but it's there's like shinies and stuff. <laughs> oh hello sir. Oh hello. Um Strange. This was always closed before. That's smart, isn't it? That's clever. I like that a lot. Probably chase him. The notice when torches are out, the notice when doors are open. Yeah, that's that's good. All the people who are running around here with loot on them have disappeared though. And I thought it was the quiet area, the, the poor area. All right, well let's do let's do the uh, the ship. Because how big can this level be, right? Holy water, this holy flash burst and impact creating a puddle of holy water, throw it undead, damage them. Okay. What happened here? Maybe there's something in the ship's manifest. Or the captain's log. So this is where we get out, right? This is where we delete. Okay, it is. <clears throat> good, good. Zombie, zombie ship. Brilliant. on both <laughs> well, who makes holy war in this world <clears throat> it is the hammerers I believe so I am so this isn't an actual mission. All we've got to do, enter the ship, see if it's um, got it in the dock, see if, see if it's related to the compendium of reproach. So there's no loop requirement or anything for it. It's not, it is a separate mission, but it isn't. Uh, get to the cargo hold down below and then find the ship's manifest for clues about the compendium of reproach, okay. So it's a mini mission, yeah. Which I like. Are you gonna stay there? No, apparently not. Okay.
So I get the feeling I can't do anything about that light source. This is fine. Doctor's log, day 42. Cook outdid himself tonight. Fine meal, at least at the officer's table. And why not? We've done well on this ship, and tomorrow morning I'll announce the men that will be steering for home. I'm looking forward to seeing my Edwina. I guess a scarf of hers is just as good as a lucky piece, um, lucky piece as that telescope of mine. Okay, so there's like a scarf and maybe a telescope that we can find. Uh, weather's been fine. We've got a full hold and heading for home. Should be there in less than... Hmm... Hmm. So nothing there. We do want to bring that guy in here, don't we, really? Well, we did. Good for us. <laughs> Can't turn that off. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> Where's your dog? If you hear sirens, it, it is my end. Well, we could go down that way. Well, that seems terrifying. I found the zombie notes in the previous game was a lot more unnerving. I think it was the constant wailing. Zombie noises. Oh, I see what you mean. No, I think they work pretty well. Of course, it's kind of a, a breathing, not breathing sort of thing. But I, I do know what you mean. Right, there's one in here. There he is. Pretty unnerving. That's pretty damn unnerving. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, that that works for me. That worked. Yeah, I was I was unnerved. I was I was sufficiently unnerved by that. <laughs> Is this a thing? A dungeon has been breached. Oh my God, uh, Narama! Thank you very much for the raid. Hello, Nara boys. Oh, just a minute. Just a second. Just a boy. Um. <clears throat> hello, Narama. Hello, stupid Ginge. Hello, Low Dash. Hello, uh, Zaustus. Go red and be victory stickers. Yeah, we're like victory stickers around here. I hope your stream went well. Thank you very much for that. Um, we're currently... <laughs> Thank you, Tidby. You did it? What, what do you do? What do you do? Ah! <laughs> you did a win? <laughs> what, what game? What game? Finally, a big Prince of Persia. Oh, nice. Well done. In that one, L. Well done. Thank you, Shadowhawk. I know she doesn't really need that, but took you three years. <laughs> well done. Yeah, what an achievement, right? It's a game that I would not have the patience for, so well done. Yeah, yeah. 
when we respect for that. Honestly, the beginning of 2019 has found its end. Yeah, well done. Good, uh, good achievement for the weekend. Well done. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't. I wouldn't have the... It's not my sort of game, no. Uh, so we're in a zombie... Zombie ship. And, uh... It's atmospheric, shall we say. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, well hopefully... Okay, so we're coming in a circle, that's fine. We'll go around here again. Yes. I'm actually kind of sorry I missed it, because again, I'm sure it was. Let's just check here. Any shinies? I don't want to move these. We don't have a map of this, don't no. Ah, okay. Good. All right, let's go uh, into the hold. So this is a mini mission. I'm not sure about this gas, you know, it's escaping. I'm going to hope it's just for show. Oh, hello, that's a... Hello, the grape. Are you gonna... Are you gonna move, sir? I doubt you can blackjack zombies, right? But yeah, okay, he's moving. I'm going to, if at all, avoid them entirely. Looks like the, the gas is just for show. I can get a bucket. That's obviously a trap. All right, at least, at least if I go in there, I'll be able to get out again, right? But, man. This is a trap. These are all traps. Do not touch anything. Okay. That's what we saw from up there. It's all right. Stay asleep. Oh my God, I didn't mean to jump there. Did not mean to jump. Absolutely did not mean to jump there. <laughs> it's about didn't see you have to go. No worries. Congratulations on your victory. And uh, thank you very much for the stream. Can you put a bucket on the zombie's head? Oh, if it was Skyrim, yes. Well, uh, no. <laughs> okay. Might, might be something over there. This is, looks like a better way to go down there, though, so we'll probably take this. I'm just going to wait for him to mosey on back the other way. And uh, check out the end of that corridor. I don't think there is anything, but hello, death. Sorry, I went to go... Wait, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. No reason to be sorry. Okay, so the stairs are down. Like, they're out, but they're not down. We'll go this way. Hope you're doing well, Death. Okay, we can get out there, or maybe we can get out there. Have to. There's no other way. So it was where following a pub quiz, um, play night out, but otherwise, well, okay, good, good. You take care. Take 
Okay, self-death. Cargo hall. That's where we just were, but maybe there's two. I didn't see anything down there, but that's kind of weird. I'm going to check it out again. Well, there was some loot, but apart from that, I didn't see. Oh, hello. I mean, I missed those, didn't I? So I'm going to check it out again. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to fall. But at least we didn't take any damage. Let's test this way then. Oh, I'm floating. Uh, we're fine. Uh, save. Reload. Um, trying to die, it's not that bad. I just don't drink much anymore, so... I feel it more as I get older. Yeah, it is. This is a nice... Okay, hang on. Maybe this goes the way that we haven't been. It doesn't. Okay, it's just a shortcut. Back up. Good to know. I thought I was dead. What's the word? Meticulous there, but... I missed something. Go away! At this point, I'm incapable of getting drunk. I just skip straight to hungover. <laughs> right, let's have another look. Well, yeah, I kind of... I didn't go to the end of this, I don't think. I'll have a look. So that, I can't get in. This, we Well, I don't know. No, we didn't go in here, did we? Alright, let's try this. Yeah, okay, we haven't been in here. Definitely some zombies in here. Or somewhere around. Hello. Okay. Another chest over there. Here in Nern Root. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I mean, maybe it was full of stuff, but it was the only thing that we uh, found valuable that we could pawn off. But yeah, I know, right? It's always been beer and spirits. Beer tastes too good. That's the problem. Go about your business, sir. Don't say that, okay? Don't say that. Okay, two zombies in here. Because it's an extremely scary place. Okay, hidey place here. I like how their snoring noises get more agitated, pretty much. You can tell they've noticed something because they're... because of that. It's... it's pretty neat. Please don't come in here. If you come in here, I'm gonna have to... I've, I've got it ready. I've, I've got my holy water prepped. Okay, there we go. 
Love of cider in hot weather. I'm finding it without sulfites. Yeah, difficult to find now. Have made your own booze in probably over 10 years. <clears throat> Oh, don't even do anything. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Not good. I mean, that's what it's for, right? And now we can look around here a bit more casually. Yeah, it's a shame that he uh, he came in here. That that other one, one into there, but I don't feel there was too much I could do there. Oh, we got one back. Sweet. I actually feel good for using those consumables, you know? I'm like, yeah, I use consumables. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep. Don't ever wake up again. There ah, we go. Use manifest, it's been a fine take, but nothing really exotic like the last trip. Like that golden slab with the strange symbol. Now that's a once in a lifetime thing. Couldn't seem to make a dent in um, de um, make a dent in it or split it up, so I took the whole thing home with me. Captain's prerogative. Edwina doesn't know. Wouldn't want her to. She'd just ask questions, and we wouldn't like. Uh, she wouldn't like the answers. Uh, I'm that. I'm less less of a merchant ship captain, more of a pirate. We only found that gold slab because we saw a cave and um, that looked like a good place to hide some of our haul. And lo and behold, someone else. Must have thought um, it was a good hiding place too, because there was the treasure. Some traps around it too, lost a few good men that day. Edwina doesn't have to know all that, um, does she? Heck, she just fret and worry. Like last time she found out about the secret boathouse near the cliffs by our home. I had a real time of it trying to explain that one. Hm, this is a terrible manifest. Uh, it's not really a manifest, is it? No. <laughs> that is not a manifest. <laughs> Come to think of it, that is the least manifesty manifest <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's terrible. You're right. Hmm. Anyway. The object described in the manifest must be the compendium the keepers are looking for. Sounds like it was brought to Captain Moira's house. Moira? Okay. Who's Moira? New map acquired. Really? Oh, that's handy. Um. Oval at Munchen Red. That, I believe, is the mansion that i remember i do remember one of the missions it might not be it might be i don't know um all right we can go we can is that it is that just way out right there well all right then i guess we'll do that then Timmy, can you grab my shopping list for the counter? List banana, sugar, beer. You know your father started drinking tea. Yes, tick. That one. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'm happy with that. All right. Since that was so, that was a lot quicker than I expected, but I do remember that. It's one of the one of the few um, levels of this I do remember was was that because it's so unique, right? A haunted cargo ship it's pretty neat I want to go actually well not this guy out and then then have a look around where that ship was because I didn't check the cornerstones but yeah that's pretty neat so we will we will um I said I wouldn't the stream, but I will. I'm going to go into the pagan territory and try and plant that stupid tree. Something. Also, any cornerstones? I can get up there. A bit late.
<laughs> I'm dead beat. That's funny and horrible. Yeah, so it's just a, a little hidey place. It's all the same with a little bit of surplus to requirements. But good. Alright, well, have better having more you know too many options than none. Alright then. <clears throat> uh -huh, hello. And there is one. Okay, so. Maybe if they don't hate us now. Okay, they're neutral, so that means they won't attack me on the street, but they probably won't let me into their area, so I'm still going to have to be hidey hidey. Hidey ho. have to be so annoying. May I gain entry? Ha! <laughs> I'm gonna spin this Welcome. loop before I even realize uh, it's gone. Hope you uh, find everything you need. Hmm. Hmm. Well, thank you, I guess. Oh no, where'd it go? Maybe I dropped it? There is another guard around here somewhere, so I'm a little bit wary. Not wary enough, obviously, I mean... Oh, I'm totally... A Totally aware that there's guards around, so I'm like really just going to uh, uh, not get caught at all. <laughs> Alright, so we should. So, I should have to hide from this guy, right? He should be fine with me. Man fools. Not bees pushing. Alright, so there's that, but if we go into here. I don't know if they'll be hostile or not. No sneaksies in on us, you. Okay, I guess this is going to be fairly easy then. Bees gone, Garrett. Don't step you one further. Okay, we're not entirely um, welcome. Where do you want this planting, dude? No sneaksies in on us, you. No good seeing Ah, there you go. Oh, boy. Look, right, look, look. Right, what's going to happen now? Because they love us now, suddenly. No, it doesn't have vine arrows now. What it's got instead is climbing stuff. We friends now? We're friends? Because I've planted your your thingy thing, right? Thank you. What's this? Healing, probably. 
This is nice, serene. So I sprinted past them and plotted it and they were like, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that that's cool then. City fool. I thought that that might have uh, reduced our status with the hammers, but um, because we killed someone dead, they they really like us now. Suddenly it's down to neutral again. Wasn't it allied just a second ago? Oh, it's because I stole from them. Whoops. Stop it, stop it. Get off this, how do I... How do I not do this? I don't want to... There you go. Leafs and mead, Garrett. Okay, now I do. Why is it so hard to steal? There you go. Nice to leave again. Well... I'm gonna make like a tree and split. Oh god! Hi! It's payment. That's exactly, right? Exactly. Let's try that again. Come on, get out the freaking... It's not even difficult! <clears throat> there is a point, you know, of, of removing this kind of shenanigans in Thief 4. I know that you can't... Oh, hello. Um, you know, because, I mean, it's so frustrating. It's like, it's right there. I just jump on it. You know, you're a master thief. You should be able to jump on it. And so in Thief 4, they were like, well, all right, we'll automate that. But yeah, I still don't think it's a good idea. Um, hi, son. Yeah, Max Star, right? See, now I've got the tree. <laughs> Maybe, okay. You wills get them sapling or a tree. Bees are rare centuried plant that will be helping us whens you have the sapling bring it to them abandoned inn he is in a territory in the docks there is a patch of ground ground here that I I love how he applied it instantly as well he was just like Dum, done you know uh, plant them sapling here and bees will bring it us them powers rooted in them deeping earth from Diane it's like when the when the queen plants a tree she just grabs a shovel Grows half a... There we go. Half a... Shovel of... Dirt on it. And there you go, it's planted. It's done. It's just magic. City fools. Buildering badness. Foe of the pagan. If I be seizing you, I be as sapping your bloods into them... No, no. Well, you know, we don't see that bit. But... You're not gonna, you're not gonna, and now we're floating. Now we're floating. And, okay, there we go. It's the British way, yeah. Nice. So I really should get into the habit, oh, for God's sakes, of, um, of using the wall climbing. I'm, I'm just going to have to kind of realize the thing now. It's healing, yep. Takes a too blurry car can grip, pretty much. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. I mean, these guys are pretty much allied, even though it says neutral. Um, We could fire a fire arrow in there, but there's no need. They're fine with us. So we got that sorted. Um, let's get... Who 
Who's that? Let me get a look at you. You must be that fella Garrett. 7,600. Nice. So next... How fast is the play? <laughs> Look, the queen can do it, all right? No one else can. It's, it's magical powers, right? To the sewers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> have I ever played Dishonored 2 DLC Death the Outside? No, I don't think I've even played um, Dishonored 2 at all. Only played Dishonored one, and I don't know if I've done the DLC. I don't think I did. I think I think I just played the main game, and that was it. Well, next is the Kershock Citadel. Next time, um, good time really gone, Fred. Got some things I'd like to get done, so it's been a enjoyable stream, and I enjoyed it a lot. But uh, yeah, next time we're going to visit the uh, the weird under underwater aquatic people. Did I? I can't remember. I mean, I, th I think it might be on the V streams, but there's so much in the V streams I can't remember. <laughs> so it might be. I don't know. Um, so thank you all very much for watching. Really enjoyed that one. So next time we're going to go into uh, the sunken citadel to find the missing glyph key for the keepers of the for. Lovely. This is exit to desktop. Yes, indeed. That's my desktop. It totally is. So yeah, thank you for the hints and tips, everyone. Really appreciate the uh, your time. Um, and hopefully I will see you uh, later. So tomorrow I'm playing Baldur's Gate with Lost. And then Monday we're back to this. If you're watching uh, the VOD, then cheers very much for doing so. Toodling. <laughs>